Hey everyone, this is another installment of our multi-language Bazel monorepo. So, so far we have web applications for Go, Node.js and Python, and we've created binaries for them, we have libraries, we have all that good stuff. Today we're going to be taking it a step further and we're going to be building Docker images for the Python web application and we're going to be able to publish them to Docker Hub. So this is for Python, but the same rules apply for other languages. It would be very easy to, to copy paste and transfer this stuff across between languages. So first of all, if you remember before, we have a Python web application, which we can run here. And by the way, if you're interested in any of this stuff here, we have tutorial videos and all of it. So we're just gonna run the Python web application and we should see it running on port 5001, which it is. And you can see that anytime we visit this endpoint, it basically returns um, a randomly generated sum. Cool, so that's our Python web application. We're going to be um, containerizing this and building a Docker image from it. So as with the other videos, we're gonna be starting off in our workspace file and we're gonna be bringing in rules Docker, which is gonna give us all of this functionality. We're gonna be publishing our Docker images to Docker Hub because it's publicly available. The same applies if you're going to publish to another registry like uh, in Google Cloud or ECR in AWS or any other registry. But Docker Hub is just nice and easy for a tutorial and it's publicly available. So first of all, we have Ruse Docker here. We have all of their documentation and everything. We're going to start off by going over here to tags and releases because this is going to give us the latest release that we can pull in with HTTP archive. Just something fun here. We can see this cool guy that contributed his first contribution to Ruse Docker, so that's really nice. All right, let's copy this and bring it into our workspace. Let's add another section at the bottom and let's just say Docker. Let's bring it in. So we're bringing it in with HTTP Archive. We've used HTTP Archive a lot so far. It's already defined at the top. There's some other prerequisites here required to get all of this working. So if we go back to the documentation, there is a section here on getting set up and they have a lot of stuff here. Um, you can take it as simple or as far as you'd like, but where we need to go as far as for this tutorial is loading in our container repositories and our contain container depths. And this is just gonna download all of the dependencies that Ruse Docker needs and get everything set up. So once we have that, the only other thing that we need in our workspace file is to be able to download a base image. So we can do that if we look for PY image repos, this is what we're looking for. It's basically going to um, bring in all the stuff that we need to be able to use PY image. And this is gonna be slightly different for us actually because we're gonna be using a Python 3 image. So we just need to add in a three here and that's available. And this is, um, buried somewhere in their docs, but we just need to add in that three. So this is going to give us Python 3 capabilities and that's us finished with our workspace file now. So next we're going to be working in the build file of Python web. So we're going to open that up. So far we have this um, py binary, which is using um, a py library. So we can see we have this library called Python web lib and py binary depends on that and then defines its main class. So we're gonna be doing something pretty similar now for py image. Um, if we go back here, we can see that they actually give an example. So that's good. We can bring that in and let's bring this to the top. And the same as before, we are going to be changing this to Python 3 because we're going to be creating a Python 3 image and here we need to say py image equals py3 image. So this is just going to allow us to use Python 3. All right, so now with our py image, we just copied and pasted in their example. So let's just call it Python web image in sources now 
we are going to be using the same sources as our binaries and we're actually going to be using the same dep as well and the same name so we could actually um, copy all of these in like that so what we've learned there is to create a py image target you can basically use a py binary and copy and paste it and just change the the rule to py image and then obviously give it a, a more suitable name so this should actually give us uh, the capabilities to be able to build and run a Python image in our monorepo. So there's one caveat here with the current version of Ruse Docker, and that is regarding transitions. So we could actually run this now and just see what happens. So let's do bazel run uh, project Python web image, and this should run our Docker image. Uh, sorry, Python web, and then we need Python web image. So this is going to fail. It's complaining about uh, CPP toolchain type. So there's something going on here. There is a new feature in Ruse Docker where we can disable this functionality, which is called transitions. Uh, I guess if we go into pull requests and look for transitions, there's basically something that we need to add in. So it's make transitions optional. So we're just going to use this flag. So this time it should actually build our image and we should be able to run it. So that's great. Um, so regarding this flag, it's a little bit annoying um, that you need it in some cases. I've seen that I need it more, more often than not for any of the language images that I'm building here. So it kind of makes sense to create a new file called .bazel rc and here we can put any configurations in so we can actually say build and we can put that in and anytime that we're building a target it's going to add that um, flag for us so we don't need that anymore so we're now able to build and run this python web image locally and that's great so if we were to stop this now, we can pass in a couple of different flags. We can say no run. And this will just build the image and not actually run it. So we can see it's tagging it. Uh, maybe it's not no run. No run. So this is just building the image and not running it. And then we can actually run it ourselves using Docker. So it's added this to our local registry, so we can do docker run like that, and it's gonna run the image that we built. And if we want to actually access this, we would need to do our port mapping. So you can see it's running on port 5001 there. We could do something like dash p 80 5001. So it's gonna map our local port 80 to 5001 inside. So then if we were to go to localhost here, we can see it's actually going to use um, whatever's running in the Docker container. So that's cool. All right, so we've been able to build and run this Python image locally. Um, so the next thing we want to do is actually be able to push this up to Docker Hub so that other people can use it as well. So to do that, rules Docker gives us functionality um, in a rule called container push and that's here so we can see all of the different stuff that it gives us and let's see if there's a good example so there's a pretty good example here one of the annoying things I always find with these um, code snippets is they never tell you where to import um, the rule from so like for example here we don't know where we're going to get container push from but anyway it's right here so this isn't like this py image rule so this container push rule can be used for all languages so whether you're building a go image or anything like that you would um you would use 
the same container push and it will be able to push any language. Because in the end, all this is going to do is push our built Docker image. So it doesn't matter what language it is. So let's copy and paste in their example and see what we need to change. So I'm just going to give it a name of publish. And then we need to give it an image. So the image we're going to give is going to be the image which we just defined here, Python web image. The format is going to be Docker. The registry, this is where I said you might have Google Cloud registry, ECR, but we're going to be using registry.hub.docker.com. And the repository that we're going to push to. So I have a, an account there, an old account, and it's Chris Foster 96. You can say I actually already published an image there. So I might even be able to copy this because this is going to be the repository that we're going to push to. Let's add in some new lines. So we're going to be pushing to that repository and tag. If you look, I actually earlier published a tag which was just called one. So I'm going to publish a tag which is called two. So let's do basil. So we were running that before. So instead of um, Python web image, it's just going to be publish. And this should actually publish this Docker image. So if we run that, it's going to build, it's going to get everything ready. And it's then going to actually publish. So we can see it successfully published to there. If we go back over and refresh, we should see another tag here. So we have a tag with two now. And here we can even run this like so. And it's actually going to pull, pull it down from the Docker registry and it's run. The same as before, if we want to actually reach the port, we would do something like dash p 8501. And this is going to allow us to reach the port locally. So I could go here now and I could refresh. And if I stop the image just to show, then we shouldn't be able to actually access this anymore. And we can't. Nice. So in this video, we've been able to build and run locally the Python web application in a Docker container. And we've also been able to push and publish that to the Docker registry. So just to show what you would need to do for different languages. So first of all, in our workspace file, we would need to load the repos that we need for language specific, and they're all in the documentation. So for example, if we were to go and we were to look for uh, image repos, you can see that every single language here has its own image repos. And this is going to give us the base image and everything that we need. You can also use a custom base image and that's fine. Um, but this just supplies some defaults um, for you. So you can see here for every language that um, Ruse Docker supports, we have, we have this. So after that's done, all you need to really work on is in your build file for your application, you're going to need to bring in the rule that is used for your language to build an image. So in this case, I was using Python 3, and this gives us this py, py image rule. And I'm able to use that. And then once I've built a Docker image of any language, you can use container push, you supply it with the image target, and then you can publish that, and it all, all should work. So there's kind of caveats with every language, some little um, things you need to do, for example, this transitions. Once this video is uploaded, I'm going to be providing um, an example in each web application of a Docker image for that language. So there's going to be an example there for, for everything. So if you'd like to know how to build a, a node Docker image using Bazel, there's going to be an example in, in this build file. So you should be able to get all of that there. All right. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.